friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Oh my gosh, it's the last day of December. Happy New Year's Eve. I can't believe I'm filming my December favorites. This year flew by, this month flew by. The first couple weeks were just a whirlwind of me working literally nonstop in the salon, getting my clients in and getting all these videos pre-filmed. And then I had my vacation. Now I'm back to just trucking along, working a lot again. <laughs> And it just went by really quick. It's actually Christmas Eve the day I'm filming this, but it's the end of the month. December's over. Hello, 2020. I'm actually really excited for the year to get started. It's going to be my wedding, my honeymoon, and just hopefully more growth for me personally, mentally, professionally. Who knows? I'm excited, though. I don't have that many things to talk about. Like I said, I was working a lot this month, and then I went on my vacation, so I didn't really try out that much new makeup. I did try some new things, and I just use some things a lot that I got in November, towards the end of November, and I just I have some things to share with you. I don't really have any like lifestyle things. I didn't really try any new foods this month. I didn't really try any new skincare. I'm trying out the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer now, but I don't have enough thoughts on it to tell you anything yet. Um, but yeah. I guess I will just jump into it or else I'm going to ramble about nothing for a very long time. I'm just going to kind of go in the order that I do my makeup. How about it? First is going to be the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. I got this back in November and I really like it. I took it on my cruise with me. I wore this during the daytime. It was great. I wear this a lot of times when I just don't feel like putting in the effort of actually making sure I have a nice foundation base and on days that my skin is acting nice, I'll wear this. Pop on concealer, rest of my face makeup, good to go. It's very sheer. If you do not like sheer coverage, you would hate this. But if you're someone that's into a tinted moisturizer sometimes, like I am, this is great. I like light to medium coverage. This is definitely the most sheer that I have, but it's not so sheer that it blends away into nothing. But I really like it. I personally have the shade Fair 3W. This is the warm one. I would prefer the neutral one, but it's also so sheer that it doesn't really matter. I can kind of get away with it. But yeah, I really like it. It's very hydrating on my skin. Looks nice. I don't have any complaints. I will continue to reach for this for quite a long time whenever it suits my needs that day. Next from ColourPop is the Pretty Fresh Concealer. I love this concealer. It's definitely one of my current favorites of all time between this one, the Makeup Forever hydrating one and the Juvia's Place one. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's, I think this is full coverage. It's either medium or full. I feel like just depending on how much I use, it's either medium or full. It does a good job regardless. It blends out really nice. It's super creamy. It doesn't dry too fast, which is nice because then I have a lot of working time to blend it into my skin. Works great with something like this that's super sheer and it also works great with my more medium to fuller coverage foundations. I don't have issues ever. I think it's fantastic and I'm gonna continue reaching for this for a while between this and my other two that I really like. Also from ColourPop, I didn't realize I tried out so much ColourPop. I guess it's just because I bought some stuff in November. They actually sent me stuff this month, which is crazy. You can actually use my code now, 5 Bean, if you wanna save $5 on their site. I don't get a commission, it's just for you but it's still so wild. I'm gonna be trying out the products that they gave me all in January and then I'll let you know if they make it in my favorites for next month. But in November, I purchased the Talk to the Palm bronzer pretty much right after I filmed my bronzer declutter. I told myself I didn't need another bronzer and I really didn't. However, I've been really enjoying this. I didn't have it on my cheeks right now. I just really like this bronzer. It blends out really, really nice. I really like the color. I think I'm gonna love this a lot more in the summer because it's definitely a little warmer. I have to be very light-handed with it right now. Not that I ever get a tan in the summer, but I feel like I could get away with that look a little bit more <laughs> in the summer. I really like it. I wish it smelled like coconuts because it's in the coconut collection, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but not a deal breaker, obviously. The product works great. I've been reaching for it when I feel like wearing a bronzer. A lot of the times I just use my cream bronzer and then skip to blush, but on the days that I feel like wearing a bronzer, that's the one I've been grabbing and I've been really enjoying it. I brought that on my cruise as well. And actually, this was the only concealer I brought on my cruise. So this shows how much I liked it. The last ColourPop thing is the Soul Body. I guess it's not ColourPop, it's Soul Body. But the Soul Body Platinum Highlights. This guy is so hard to open. Okay, it's huge. It's lovely. It looks so good on the skin. It's this really pretty, just white, golden, shiny yumminess. I brought this one on my cruise with me as well and I even popped it on my shoulders on days that I was outside and my shoulders were showing. I really like this. My skin loved it. It was just so pretty. It melts into the skin so nicely. It is way too much product. I wish it was smaller because I definitely will never run through this, 
but I really like it. I like the color. I like the formula and I'm just excited to maybe try more Soul Body stuff in the future because that's my first Soul Body purchase and I quite enjoyed it. Moving on to my last face product. On Black Friday I purchased, actually I think all of those might have been Black Friday purchases. I know this was a Black Friday purchase. I don't remember. I can't keep track. But on Black Friday on Sephora's website I bought the Melt Genesis Highlights. I got it for the purpose of using it as a blush and I am so glad I did. I'm obsessed with it. It's what I'm wearing on my face now. I brought this on my cruise with me. Oh, I just think it's so pretty and glowy and magical. On a deep skin tone, this would be the most beautiful peachy highlighty color. But on my skin, it's such a pretty shi sheeny, shiny blush. Getting all my words mixed up. I love this. I've had such a good time with it. It's so blendable and creamy. Oh, I adore this so much. I would love to try more of the darker shades to use as blush, maybe, but it is pricey, so I'm glad that I got it when it was on sale, because otherwise I would not want to spend the money on it. Well, that's not true, because now that I have it, I love it. I don't know. It's hard. I have a hard time spending a lot of money on makeup, but I have been enjoying this greatly. I've been wearing it almost every single day this month. Moving on to eyes. I have two eyeshadow palettes to talk about. Both of these I got towards the end of November. This first one got sent to me in PR. This is the Amy Hearts Beauty X Amy Loves Makeup Alma Palette. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I did a first impressions, eye swatches, 3 Lux 1 palette. I've adored playing with this. I really wanted to bring it with me on the cruise, but these shadows are so soft that I was scared it might break during the transport. So I didn't, but I love this so much. It's just so lovely. I get so creative with this palette. These three duochromes are beautiful inner corner highlights. There are beautiful shimmer duochrome shades for the lid. The mattes blend out like a dream. Typically, I like more mattes in a palette than there are in this one, but I feel like the mattes that there are are so perfect and so well done. This was in my yearly favorites, and I'm just so impressed with this palette. I adore it with my whole heart, and... Congrats again, Amy. You killed it with this collab. I just can't get enough of it. It's so beautiful. The last eyeshadow palette I have to talk about is the Arcana. I pre-ordered this a long time ago, and then it finally got finished making and processed and got shipped to me in November, and I've been loving it. They actually, right after I received this palette and did some videos with it, they gave me a discount code. So if you're interested in this palette or anything else on their site, you can use my code BUTBEAN to save 10%. It's a commission code and I greatly appreciate if you use it, but no pressure whatsoever. Let's talk about the palette. It's this beautiful, grungy, jewel-toned palette. I did eye swatches, first impressions, and three looks with this as well. Oh, and I absolutely love it. These shimmers are so bright but deep at the same time. The mattes are just so yummy and rich. I feel like the shimmers correlate with the mattes perfectly. I had such a blast playing with this. It's a grungy dream. If you are into jewel tones, you would probably love this palette. Everything about it speaks to me. I love this pink and this green so, so much. I was dying using those in my eye swatch video. Oh, I just can't get enough of it. I was gonna bring this on my cruise, but I just didn't think this would be my vibe on a Caribbean cruise, but... I have reached for it a lot when I need a good green or even that pretty pink. I really enjoy that palette and I'm excited to keep using it. I want to do a multi-palette bingo with all three of my Shroud Cosmetics palettes next month, so I will try to do that. Let's move on to lip products. Two of the other things I bought on the Sephora site during Black Friday were two of the Melt Liquid Lipsticks. I've been swooning over these ever since they launched, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I didn't want to spend $20 on a liquid lipstick. They might even be $22. They're expensive. Mm, kind of average to expensive. I just have such an extensive liquid lipstick collection, even after decluttering it, and I didn't want to spend the money on more. But when the sale happened, I decided to throw these into my cart. I got two of the nudes. One is called Ginger and one is called Fawn. I will swatch them for you. Fawn is the most beautiful cool tone brown. If you are wearing a cool tone look, whew, this complements it so beautifully. I loved wearing it. I actually brought both of these on my cruise for the dinners when you're dressing up all fancy, and I really liked wearing both. These last all day on me without feeling dry and crumbly. I'm really, really impressed with the formula. They smell so yummy, and I really want to try more colors, even though I am not in need of any more liquid lipsticks. I just love this formula so, so much. I love the packaging. I love the shades they have to offer. They have a yellow-based one that I almost bought, but since I have cider, I didn't think I needed it. But now I think I need it. Next time they have a sale, I might scoop up some more. I have two of the glosses to talk about that Kaleido sent me. I have the two sparkly ones, and I only have these to talk about because I brought these on my cruise. The other ones I haven't really tried yet. I'm wearing one of the lip tonics for the first time today. So far, I really like it, but as I try them over January, I will let you know if I like them or not. 
But the two sparkly ones that I have are Fantasize and Crystallize. They have a minor plumping action. I feel it on my lips a little bit, a little bit of a tingle, but it's pretty pleasant and it's not sticky, it's not too thick. It glides on very nicely. I love the way the shimmer looks. I love this blue one so much. I think it's so cool. And I don't know, they're just so pretty and shiny. I love the way they looked on my lips and I love just that juiciness it gave them. I'm really impressed with these. They have one that isn't sparkly that I haven't had a chance to wear yet, but I'm excited to wear that one as well. The last product I have to talk about is the Sugar Pill Bullet Lipstick in the shade Patrol. It is the most beautiful red, shimmery, glittery lipstick. I wore this on my cruise too, actually, on um, one of the nights I wanted to dress a little Christmassy. This actually lasts a surprisingly long time. It doesn't feather out on me. I feel like I have an easy time creating precise lines with this lipstick, and it's really comfortable. I'm not a huge bullet lipstick person unless it's a nude because I can get messy, but this one stays put for me, so I'm quite a fan of that. And I just think it's stunning, especially for all these Christmas looks I've been doing. I think it's so cute. Oh, I love the way these glasses shift. It's so pretty. Mm, adorable. But yeah, those are the things I had to talk about. I know it's not a huge list, but it's my list. If you want to check out my yearly favorites, go for it. I uploaded that recently as well. And that's just me chatting about my absolute favorites for the entire year. But these specifically were my favorites for December. I know some of these didn't make it into my yearly favorites, but that's just because I haven't used them long enough that I felt like I could put them in my yearly favorites if that makes sense. I would love to know what your favorites for December were, whether it's makeup, skincare, food, games, shows, anything like that. Oh, I guess Noelle on Netflix is a favorite. I've watched that movie like eight times. Such a good Christmas movie. I adore it so much. If you made it to the end of this favorites video, leave me your favorites emoji. I can't believe it's the end of the year. I hope you have fun tonight doing whatever you do, whether you're going to a party, hanging out with your friends, sleeping in your bed. If we weren't going to Zane's dad's birthday party, I would absolutely be sleeping before midnight because I do not stay up late. But just whatever you do, be safe, have a great holiday. Hope you have a great end to your year and a great start of your next year. I will see you there. I have no plans on stopping this anytime soon. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe. I post it every day in December, but I will be back to posting most days in January. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy new year and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.